Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about wave optics. It is chapter number 10. In our previous videos we have discussed about ray optics. Here we are going to discuss light as a wave, the wave nature of light. It is being supported by many theories in physics, corpuscular theory, Planck's quantum theory, electromagnetic wave theory, etc. We also know that light is a transverse in nature. Transverse wave, it has crust and it traps. And when it travels, its path is indicated by a ray of light. You can see the rays which I have drawn. And we can begin our discussion with an example. A stone, when it is thrown in a still surface of water, the new disturbance will travel in the forward direction in the form of circular patterns as I have shown in the similar way. You can also assume that when a light wave it travels, it is a new disturbance in the form of crust and it traps. The particles which are in the crust will experience the maximum upward displacement, hence they are in the same phase. In the similar way, the particles which are in the troughs, you can see the downward, which are in the trough portion will experience the maximum downward displacement. The particles which are in the crust and the trough, they experience a maximum upward and the trough will experience the maximum downward displacement. All the particles in the downward direction in the trough will be in the same phase. In the similar way, all the particles in the upward direction, they are in the same phase. Therefore, we bring a new term called wavefront and also wavelets. And we say here the path, the forward direction, the path taken by the light wave when it travels in the forward direction that is said to be a wavelet. And we have such wavelets everywhere. You can see this is a wavelet, this is a wavelet and here is a wavelet. And like this many wavelets will be there. They are the path taken by the light when the light propagates in the forward direction. And if you draw an envelope, you can see the yellow color rings which are drawn. These are the envelopes which are drawn over these wavelets. And we discuss these envelopes that cover the wavelets are said to be wavefronts. It is the continuous locus that is a location of all such particles of the medium which are vibrating in the same phase at any instant. There are different types of wavefronts. You can see the first one is a spherical wavefront which we have discussed now for the point source. Here is a point source. The light travels, it spreads in all directions from the point source. You can see the rays which are drawn. You can draw this side also, you can draw in this direction also. Since a light, it spreads in all directions from a point source. And hence, such envelope which encloses all the wavelets will take the spherical in shape. So, for the point source, the source, the point source, the wavefront will be spherical. In the similar way, for a linear source, long shaped, the linear source, there also the light spreads in all directions. You can see here also the wavelet will be there. I have drawn at every direction. So, the wavefront will be the cylindrical in shape for a linear source. You must remember this. In the same way, if the light comes from distant source, far from our eyes from a distant source, from far distance, if the light is coming, then these are the plane wavefronts that encloses all the wavelets. So, this is for the point source, spherical wavefront, for the linear source, cylindrical wavefront, and for distant source, the plane wavefronts. These are the types of wavefronts. There are also, here you can see, converging wavefront, converging type. Okay, here are the wavelets, the light is incident, it gets converged at one point and on its way it encloses, you can see here, all the wavelets will be there on its way of propagation. So, you can see that these wavelets are covered by such envelope and hence you can say converging wavefront in the direction. Here you can say from this point the light it travels, it gets diverged. So, this pattern, this is for the diverging wavefront which encloses all the wavelets in this pattern. 
you can see the wavelets are covered therefore here is the diverging wave front these are also the types of wave fronts you can conclude here light rays are perpendicular to the wave front the rays which are perpendicular in all this direction you can see okay and the time taken for light to travel from one wave front to another is the same along any ray is the same along any ray you can see in all uh, in all diagrams so this is the introduction for wave optics in this chapter we are going to discuss the properties of light as the diffraction of light interference of light and also polarization of light i hope you understood this introduction very well thank you for watching